Coming up in 11 short minutes and 24 hours. <laughs> it's the most motivational segment in all of sports. <laughs> it's the budget. That's not how people talk about it time. It is in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Steph and Clay have weighed in on their faux-turned friend, Chris Paul, via Anthony Slater of The Athletic. Here's oh, Clay. Goodness. It's a little weird because we've had so many battles in the past with Chris. I think he's going to add such a calming presence and leadership component that we need. I like that. And here's Steph. Every team that CP has been on gets better. It's on us to put that all together and figure out how all the pieces work, which no one quite gets yet. Uh, he was right about getting better. Every team he's been on mm. has gotten significantly better, bro. So the question is, is this going to work? Well, I think that the Warriors are right there. You, you've got Denver. Mm -hmm. And then you got the Lakers and the Suns and the Warriors. Mm -hmm. I think they are in that group. Now, what they need to do and it, you know this, I've said it, I've been saying it ad nauseum. They got to add size. Doesn't have to be great size. Mason Plumley, he's out there. Jakob Pertle, like he's out there. Yeah. Go, Thomas Bryant, for goodness sake. Okay. Go get a, seriously. Go ahead, go ahead. Was sorry. Festus Azili great? No, but they were was a better, Andrew way Bogut better team. Great. Oh, pretty good. They were a way better Steph team. Steph is arguably as good yeah, as but ever. They had, they had, they had, Draymond is still a very effective player. I get that Clay's not what he used and to. And Andre Iguodala was huge. Andrew Wiggins is better than Andre Iguodala was, in my opinion. Oh, I strongly disagree. Andrew it, Wiggins could have – people thought – I mean, obviously Steph should have been MVP, but a lot of people thought – Maybe Andrew Wiggins is making a case. That's right. Wait, I think he's better than Andre Iguodala was on those right, teams. I did, that's fine. But, but it's arguable. It. I mean, yeah, it's sure. okay. the numbers are better for sure. Yes, I, he's a better scorer, and he's a very good defender as well. Yeah. So, Clay is not what he used to be, but he's a 20-point scorer. So, my two concerns are get me some size. Kevon Looney is great, but he's not enough. You saw Denver's too big. They didn't even face them. Uh, the Lakers were too big. Yep. One of these guys, nondescript. I don't care if it's Andre Drummond, for goodness sake. Get you a seven-footer well, that you can give that you a few minutes. If you think few, that – Go ahead, well, the, That's my number one concern. Here's the second one, because I think Chris will be good with that second unit. But Steph has missed an average of about 20 games over the last three years. I'm not even counting the one yeah. where he essentially missed the whole season. Yeah. Jordan Poole – was able to carry them to keep them respectable when Steph's out. Mm -hmm. Now, if Steph's out, Chris isn't going to do that as far as scoring. And, it, heck, Chris could be out sure. because he's older. So those are – like if Steph misses 20 games and you don't have Jordan Poole, who's going to carry you? I so that's a little concern. But I think if they get some size, yeah. then I think they well, – Listen, if they're you think right they're Thomas Bryant teams. away from being a real contender, then you think they're a real contender. I mean, if they – if they, if I, I, You're making light of the Thomas Bryant thing, no, but no, I'm no. serious. I'm, like, it doesn't have to be a great player. They just need a big body. Right. My point is I think they will add someone of that caliber, and they're obviously not going to add another guard. So I think you'll get your wish in that regard. I don't think the West should be scared of the Warriors. And I think, I think unfortunately, the Warriors have one button to push – to really, st you know, try to extend Steph's championship window. But it's one they're not willing to push, which is move off clay. Yeah, I don't want to do it. The, no, nobody wants to do it, and I don't even want to say it. I know. Well, I didn't I, even want to say it and I because I like the guy. Kills the vibe. And I, but and can I, you give me what you think you might get for clay? Because obviously that, everybody else I sees think, that he's Right, but I you. think that. At that a money, forty so. million dollar expiring contract okay, so now. is, you know, and maybe not this moment, but at some point between now and when teams realize not our year, I think that is highly attractive to teams, and I think they could, and I think that you could get size, you could get wit, you could get, you know, you could get two players yeah. making fifteen to twenty million and really do something, but it would feel like a betrayal. Kill, yeah, you kill the vibe. And but yeah, but I'm from a basket, particularly, but here's the other thing. Particularly now that you have Chris Paul. Because one of the reasons we're saying, well, Chris Paul can't start, can't even close all this, is because one of your guard spots, wing spots, taken up with Clay. And Clay, it's not, and Clay, by the way, before the playoffs, was having one of the, 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 his best years he since led the, the league injury. He three pointers and, made. And he was awesome for a couple months. But 
at that salary with what this team needs, he's the obvious move, mm-hmm. but it feels yeah, sacrilegious do it. to do it. Yeah, can't do it. I get that. Uh, but you can fire Belichick. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> you, you might as well. Tobias have. Harris is tired of seeing his name bandied about in trade talks, especially if he's being traded for baked goods. Take a listen. That was cogent analysis from Tobias. And maybe he was tired of the Dame rumors. He's going to Portland. And he said, salute crumble cookies. I didn't mean to put any disrespect on your name. I said, wow, that's funny, because I think Josh Hart talked yeah. about it. And then it turns out we were taken for... A ride, a delicious ride, but a ride nonetheless. Take a listen. You know, you could say a lot about sports media. Maybe we don't get it right all the time, but doesn't mean we deserve to be tricked. I thought that was a creative um, complaint from Tobias Harris, and we were going to discuss it as a legitimate concern. (laughs) And turns out it was all just a crumble cookie advertisement (laughs) folded into a trade complaint. You guys Sorry? got the actual what? crumble what? cookies? You agree? <laughs> what? See, you know, I, I'm like, just, I'm, these cookies the are over. delicious, <laughs> are they? No. I wasn't even Close listening. Close the box so people can see. You guys got actual crumble cookies these for crumble this crumble cookies. It says spruce. Man. <laughs> Tobias, thumbs up, my man. These are delicious. Okay. Outstanding. I'm mean, all over my cheek. You know what? <laughs> this is a sugar cookie with peak okay. frosting. Got it. Absolutely <laughs> outstanding. It's late June, everybody. We're running out of time. We're great. <laughs> Next, will LeBron and Bronny be teammates? I would trade your body for this. This is good. No shame in that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.